So this could be a cautionary tale as to how so many creams on the market can make you go bust. Following the end of Roe vs Wade, this tech looked like it could have been a contender. Okay, so Evo FM has had quite a week this week. Um, its um, sales have dropped considerably. This was a stock that a lot of people had a quite a bit of faith in. Um, if you look at this chart from the entire time it was on Etoro, it actually went all the way past $70 and is now trading way below $1. Um, and has actually been, um, from what I understand, delisted from the Nasdaq and so may not be available for anybody anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the reasons why this has probably happened um, and speculate as to whether we all come back um, and whether it could be a good investment for the future. Okay, so if we go to the title page, um, EvoFem Biosciences is a contraceptive um, tech company. Um, they develop creams um, for women to basically be able to take control of their own um, sexual reproduction. Um, it's quite an innovative market, um, although as with all um, contraceptive markets, it is quite heavily. There's a lot out there and the alternatives are quite simple really. Um, if you think about it, there's creams and condoms and jellies and all sorts out there already that people can use. Um, so why this one's supposed to be better than the rest and why this one could have been the market leader simply comes down to a very small, um, how can I put this, it's, it's a chemical within it that's supposed to allow it to be not interfere with the hormones of the woman using it. Um, you think about the, the things like the pill um, that women take, it's, um, most of these things would interfere with basically various biological reproduction um not just reproduction but most aspects of that this is supposed to be just like a, a normal gel so if you uh, um for whatever reason you would need this thing it would, would take care of that and i'm just rabbiting on at the moment okay so the reason that, that, that this has fallen out of the market is simply that they were told that they had to get their share price above um one dollar it has failed to do that um, it's been trading below a dollar, I guess, for a while now. So if we go to 30 minutes, we should be able to see a bit clearer. So it keeps dipping below a dollar, uh, which is this line here. This is probably the worst of it. This has been since July last year. It stayed below a dollar for a long time. This jump here was to do with um, the changes in the states with regards to... Um, rights from abortion this is a controversial topic in the states and since Eva Femme is a United States company that's where it's all been affected from so it's been below a dollar for a while and that jump there was purely on the back of speculation that there was an alternative market to the abortions that women would pull out there for um, alternatives that would allow them to take control of basically their own their own body essentially uh, which is what the whole argument was about in the first place now was it ever worth $70 was it ever worth anything above where it is now that's hard to say the mass for it basically probably puts it around $10 um, I have read some places where they, they speculate it could be worth a lot more perhaps even $100 um, I think the amount of creams and things that are out at the moment probably makes this unlikely and given how simple it is just to get used things like condoms um any other contraceptive thing you can think of off the top of your head um i i think that this probably would have, have made um this company sales not as high as they would have liked um it would have taken a lot of sales to actually push them through um but they were all right and they're on the phase three of their um trials for their creams but there's so many creams out there. There's so many products out there that covers all of this. I don't know how far this can go with this. Um, there's a lot of shares out there that are, are, are basically owned by people. Um, that, look, it's 52 week range. That's ridiculously, I mean, it, this is where it started off from. This is where it dropped down to. Um, will it come back? I'd be surprised if it does come back, actually. Um, I think the most likely scenario is that maybe the products would be pushed onto a larger company that could push it forward, but I don't think Eva Femme 
will make it back onto the Nasdaq. I might be wrong. Um, but I think I think the product's probably strong, but it's a niche product. It's not one of those ones that's going to um, take over the whole range. It won't become the main alternative for contraception. From a value investor, I would think that basically it's way below where it, it should be. And I think maybe you could all go out there. Um, if you were thinking about investing, I, I think it's worth putting some um, investment into it, but it's not going to be stable. Um, I think it's an unstable um, product out there. The alternatives um, are just too many. I, I think it's it's it's. I think that the market is too niche for what this can come up with. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Okay, so if you like this video, um, please subscribe, like, hit the bell, do whatever you need to so you can come back and I can show you uh, more tech opportunities that are out there, both for stocks and for investment, for whatever you need to, just things that you'd be interested in. Um, thank you.